Recently, I collaborated with relationship coach Eileen Santos from the Philippines. We asked our followers what questions you have always wanted to ask the opposite sex and in the next few videos, we will be answering them. The first question we addressed was, can you fall in love with multiple people at once? Coach Eileen brought up this theory of the eight soulmates you will meet in your life and this is how it went. By the way, if you are new to this channel, I will be giving away one Ethereum at the end of October 2021. Watch to the end of this video to find out how you can win. Can a man or can a woman be in love with multiple people? Okay. Um, there are really a lot of facets to, uh, to coming towards an answer to that question. Um, and But uh, just to get on the same page, when we say in love, we're talking about romantic love because we can love so many people like we love our parents, we love our siblings, but being in love, like being in, a, uh, in that romantic state with people. Um, let me answer this by uh, citing that there is research, okay? There is research that actually tells us, uh, I forgot that we were the, you know, the reference now, but it tells us that on in an average lifetime, we will actually, and that's an average lifetime. That was before everyone was on social media and even on dating apps. We, every person has a chance to meet an average of eight, poten eight good potentials in an average lifetime. So what does that mean? When I say potentials, that's actually a term that I coined because in, in the research, what they, what they found was that eight people in an average lifetime, uh, you will meet them and they will be the kind of people that you will have, number one, a connection with. So it's like conversations are easy and you feel like you can really talk to each other. And then second would be there's that spark. And so that could lead to a romantic relationship. And third is you have the same values and like direction. So on average, and what they found is that uh, all of these people, so I'm the one who's calling them potentials because when you put all those things together, so you have a connection, there's that spark, and you have the same values and life direction, that is what I, that is what I cla classify as a good potential because they have already the raw material to become the one. A lot of people are always talking about look, finding the one, but the truth is we have at least the eight. And these eight potentials, they are people that, you know, if you choose any of them, um, you are going to make the right choice because these eight people are they already have the raw material to become the one but what turns a potential into the one okay the what it, it all boils down to is really your decision so it could be possible so here's here's a, a let me have a true to life story here an example oh, yeah. um, um a lot of people, when I tell them, okay, you would you would really recognize and you would know how many potentials you've already met. And they're not necessarily people you've been in a relationship with because sometimes you meet them, you're in a relationship with someone else or that person has a relationship with someone else, but you know that there's that connection. But of course, if you're in a relationship, you don't, you don't invest in that connection. But this is a person that you know you can pick up where you left off. And what I found is that I have met potential uh, number four. When I met potential number four, he became my boyfriend. And so I met potential number one probably in elementary school. Okay. And potentials two and three in college. And then potential number four in college as well. And th that's actually a tip. Uh, you We meet the most number of potentials in college. Why? Because there's this uh, there's this phenomenon where we tend to choose our colleges, you know, our universities, based on a certain set of values and life direction, and also you know the level of intelligence and understanding about the world. So we choose colleges based on those things, on universities, and so that's why we meet the most number of potentials. So I I was boyfriend I was in a relationship with potential number four, 
And when we were in a relationship, I met potentials number five and six. Wow. Okay. Okay. But that did not that did not mean that I jeopardized my existing relationship, and I ended up marrying potential number four. So what does this mean? And most likely, you know, in in our old age, and it's not just me. Most li- my husband as well. In our old age, we would also meet other potentials. But what turns a potential into the one? This the decision and the commitment to choose this one person. And so it also that that's where you talk about history. We have a built history. This person knows me, and besides history, it's really that commitment. You know, you will. You both have flaws. He knows your flaws. You know his flaws, vice versa. And despite that, you still make the decision each and every day to be with each other. And so uh, that's why there's this really old song. It's so sad to belong to someone else when the right one comes along. Ooh. I want to assure people. Have you heard of that song? No, not yet. It's, it's a really old song. So there's that song that my my parents. Uh, well. It's not that they used to play it, but it was on the radio before. But there, uh, a lot of people are so scared of commitment because there, there's that fear. What if I choose wrong? What if I belong to someone else when the right one comes along? And what, and what I want to assure people of is this: when you choose a potential and turn that potential into the one, then you, you, it's not a mistake. It's never going to be a mistake. So, what does this have to do with the question? Can you be in love with multiple people? That's the thing. You can meet potentials where you will have all of these elements because you know you recognize them that you could be, you could be good together. But being in love with people, being attracted to other people, it's just you know these feelings and these emotions. But what real love is and what real relationships are all about is those feelings. Plus the decision to commit to someone because of the shared history, because you choose each other each and every day. So um, attraction is something that cannot be helped. Some people mistake attraction for love, even if the attraction is super super strong, it's still not love. Because when when I ask people what is love, and uh, they almost always agree with. You know, you know, someone loves you when they would take a bullet for you, and when you're attracted to someone, they, you won't take a bullet for them. But someone that you have invested in, then that's real love. So you can be attracted to a lot of people; they could be your potentials, but the one for you is the one that you have chosen to be with. Does that yeah. make sense? Yeah, agree. <laughs> you know, like uh, I think what separates the one from The other seven is who you seven. choose. Yeah, who you choose to be with. Like what you said, you can be attracted to a lot of people,、oh、but、God. you can only fall in love at, with one person at any point of time. That's that's what I feel as well. And and the eight is a very very interesting concept. When you were talking about it, I was also counting in my head how many. How many have you met, Nikki? <laughs> Offhand. Three, four, around there. Yeah. So、okay. I'm halfway there. <laughs> <laughs> so that means you just have, you know, you just have these、um, extras. But then again, you, when you make the choice, even if they come along, it's fine. You know that you chose right anyway. Yeah, and and like what you said,、um, one point you said made really a lot of sense is that.、Um, A lot of people are afraid to commit to a relationship, even though he or she might be a potential. Because、yeah. at the back of their mind, they'll be like, "What if I meet someone better? You know, should I settle for this one, or is there someone else out there that is more suitable for for me?" So,、mm-hmm. and what you said made sense in the sense in the way that、um, there is no right or wrong decision. There is just your decision. Yes. So you just got to make it.、Um, you won't. You won't be wrong because at the end of the day, you chose this person for a reason,、um, and stick to it unless you know something doesn't really 
work out for you, then you can switch it up. But if you keep thinking there's someone out there for you, uh, then you will never be happy with what you have. True, true. Because that's the fact of life. There will always be someone better, and it's not just your options. Your partner will always meet someone better. But better is very relative because even if they have these awesome qualities, but it it will never replace the the history that you share with a person, the commitment. And there's also this quote by Zig Ziglar that I'm remembering right now. Um, it doesn't matter. Maybe you did choose the right, the wrong person. Okay, so I'm trying to remember the quote. Maybe you did choose the wrong person, but if you treat the wrong person as the right person, then you may end up having the right person anyway. Agree. That's that's right? that's wise. Well, that's deep. Okay. Yes. And I also read about this 80-20 rule. Not sure whether you have heard of it before. The Pareto so, principle? I don't know what principle it is, but it's, it says that um, your most relationships happen because you both of you are happy with 80% of what the person brings you. Okay, mm-hmm. but because uh, people start to get dissatisfied with the 20%, you know, and mm-hmm. they, when when they find that twenty percent in another person, that's where they feel the temptation to to go to cheat on your current partner or to look for that twenty percent in that someone else. But when you leave your eighty percent and go for the twenty percent, you'll find out that that person only provides you with twenty percent of what you need. You know, and the eighty percent of your life is like. Not and well. you let go of that awesome 80%. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I think I've heard about that, but yeah, that's not the Pareto principle, but yes, that, that is so true. No one can ever be, you know, there's no one who's, there's no person who's perfect. I mean, we are not perfect either. So that that, that is so true. It's like, it's really boils down to making that decision that that's, there's that 80%. And that is something that's already super valuable. It's like you forgot to be grateful for the 80% that you have. And you started comparing the tw- it to the 20% that you've been seeing. And because, then yeah. but gratitude. That's why gratitude for what we have in our loved ones. That is also an important thing in emotional well-being and also in relationships. Yeah, because people always want what they don't have, right? Yeah, so <laughs> Hi there! Thank you for coming to the end of this video. To stand a chance to win the one Ethereum, do like this video, subscribe to my channel, and write down in the comments box how many potentials you have met so far in your life. Also, watch this video to stand a higher chance to win.